Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be making my version of chili. So this is a keto chili. Of course, the cold weather's coming up, and this is gonna be perfect with some cheese and some cornbread. And of course, I'm gonna have a cornbread recipe for you, which is linked in the description below. So we're gonna get started with going over the ingredients really quickly. Now, I'm gonna use the ground beef, but of course, you can use ground chicken, turkey, or even make it vegetarian if that's what you choose but we're actually using some ground beef and some mild Italian sausage. Of course, you can use spicy Italian sausage, um, but I'm gonna use a little bit of both, okay? And then, of course, for my bone broth, um, of course, you can make your own bone broth, but I, um, I'm kinda lazy when it comes to it, and I love the kettle and fire, so I'm gonna use the chicken, um, but because I ran out of beef, <laughs> but um, you can use beef or you know any bone broth that you want. And of course, that's only going to add collagen to your dish and make it super hearty and nutritious, which is, you know, what we want here. So that's what we're gonna use for our bone broth. We have some just crushed tomatoes. We have our bell peppers. I'm probably gonna use half of each. If you don't have both and you don't, you know, you don't really use bell peppers much, then you can just use one of your color of choice because of course you guys are eating this. So you choose what you, you know, what you want. And then a little onion. So this is like a small, small onion. And that's what we're gonna use. A little bit of tomato sauce. This is the game changer, guys. It's the Eden's black soybeans. And these have five net carbs per half cup. So I'm gonna link it down below so that you guys know exactly which ones they are. And of course, um, if you're gonna make chili and you want beans included, then this is what you would wanna do because other than that, beans are super high in carbs. And unless you're more low carb, then of course it would make sense. But if you're trying to stay keto and you're trying to hit those macros, you can still use the black soybeans, okay? So we're gonna get started with, um, we're gonna brown our meat. So we're going to use one pound um, versus like the two pounds that are here. So we're going to use half of this here and we're going, so we're gonna use half of this here and we're going to use two of the, um, of the sausage links. Of course you can use more um, because this is your chili. You're gonna make it and you're gonna eat it. But that's what I think is gonna be a good balance. Um, so, you know, that's what we're gonna do. So let's go to the stove. Add about a tablespoon of oil like so, and we are going to cook our ground beef, okay? So we're going to do a pound, and, which is just gonna be half of the container. Let's see if our oil's probably not hot yet. It's just starting to get hot. Okay, so we're gonna do the ground beef, and then like I said, I'm only gonna do two of the links. Remember to remove the casing. Okay, it's very, very easy. All right, and let's mix everything together. Okay, so I'm actually gonna end up doing three of the links, and we're just gonna throw it in there right now because everything is just starting to cook. Okay, so we're gonna let this cook, and meanwhile, we're gonna go chop up our veggies, okay? Okay, so our meat is cooking, it's simmering back there because obviously, um, you know, it needs to cook for at least like a good 10, 15 minutes, or just until it's, it's ready, depending on how, you know, on how high your, the heat is. Okay, so now we're going to dice up our onion. And of course, it's just gonna to be to your size of preference. I like it finely diced. And I'm gonna finish chopping up our peppers. So now we're gonna grab our onion and our bell peppers and we're gonna throw it in our meat. So let's go. Our onion and our bell peppers. I ended up using a little bit more, but you just need one bell pepper. So two colors or one is fine. It's completely up to you. Okay, get that, beautiful. 
So we're gonna add a lot of seasonings, but right now we are just gonna add some salt and pepper to season the veggies and the ground beef. So I would say about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Just to taste, you're going to pepper your meat, okay? Okay, so we're just going to cook this up until the onions are soft and translucent. Okay, so we're going to put a little towel here because we're gonna bring the meat so we can add the rest of the uh, ingredients here. Of course you would do it stovetop, but I want you guys to be able to see and hear me. So we're bringing this little guy. Still nice and, you know, everything sizzling. Sizzling. So look at that. Okay, so we're gonna get started with the rest of our ingredients. So this little guy here, I picked up some organic chili seasoning blend from Traders, but we're gonna get started with two tablespoons. We'll end up, we'll probably end up adding one more, but I want to gauge it. So we're gonna do two to start off with, okay? We'll leave him right there. Okay, so typically you would add, like I said, the oregano, the garlic, which I have here, but this one already has everything in it, but I'm about that extra life. So we're gonna add a little extra garlic powder. Thing in there, but see, like magic. So this is the garlic powder. The oregano, we'll just do a little, we'll do a half a teaspoon. We'll just do a half. If you're only using this, you can literally add like three to four tablespoons of it, but I would start off with two and then to your personal taste, go up from there, okay? Because we all have different taste buds and you know, this is for you, you're gonna eat it, not me. And then of course, you know that cayenne is for that spice. So if you're about the spicy life, then you, you know, it's up to you. So we're gonna go with a quarter teaspoon, you know, just keep it, keep it mild. So we're gonna do salt um, because none of the seasonings have any salt. So we will do one teaspoon Okay, we're gonna do a teaspoon of salt. Now let's go with our sweetener. And yes, it has sweetener. So um, we're gonna start off with one tablespoon, okay? And we will go back to it if it needs a little bit more. But of course, the full recipe will be down in the description for you guys, so don't worry. Okay, so now we have all of our um, seasonings in there. Now we're going to do some bone broth. So of course you can make, if you make homemade bone broth, that's perfectly fine. I'm kind of lazy and this one's super, super healthy. So I use the kettle and fire. So we are just going to pour that in. This is two cups. Okay. So now let's go ahead and add our soy black beans and now our tomato sauce. Okay. So we're going to and then we have these little guys here, which are crushed tomatoes, but we're only gonna use half. Okay, we're gonna do half. So let's mix, and then we're gonna put this back on the stove, okay? Okay, so I ended up adding just a teaspoon more of the chili and a tiny bit more of the cayenne, but that's just personal preference on the spice. I just wanted a little, little bit more. But before um, you know, I add anything more, I think it tastes perfect. I'm gonna put it on the heat, let it simmer, let it thicken, let all the flavors just kind of come together, and then we'll do a taste test. And of course, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna top it and serve it, and it's gonna be perfect. I'm so hungry, I'm excited. So let's go ahead and put it on the stove. Okay, so now we're gonna let it simmer until it's thickened and everything just comes together. So once your chili comes to a boil, then you're gonna lower your heat and then just let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that this is what the consistency should look like. I mean, you can totally leave it for a little longer if you personally like it thicker than this, but we don't. So we are going to pull this off the, um, you know, off the heat and serve it. And Nathi is going to do the taste test with me. So let's go. Alrighty, so here is our chili. All right, Nathi, 
You got the spoon? Yep, here's yours. Okay, so Nati is going to be doing the taste test with us today. Oh my God, look at how delicious that looks. Jeez Louise. Look at and that. then on the side, we're adding cheese and sour cream. Yes, we are. So do you want to go ahead and serve your little bowl? Just put it, hold it up so that, yeah, so you don't make a mess. There we go. Okay, so typically this is just how it would look before we mix everything in, okay? Are we ready? Yeah. Are you ready for it? Mm-hmm. Do you think they're ready for it? Yes. Okay, tell me when. Cheers. Cheers. Oh wow. How is it? Mm-hmm. You guys? Wow. It's spicy, but it's sweet. Yeah, it has a little bit of every flavor. You get a little bit of spice, a little bit of sweetness, a little acidity from the tomatoes, the creaminess from the sour cream, the cheesiness obviously from the cheese, Mm. That ground beef. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Italian sausage also. Is that what gives it the sweetness? It has a little sweetness to it. Mm-hmm. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed this recipe. This is gonna be perfect for the cold weather and the holidays coming up. So I can't wait to see your recreations and Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, comment, and subscribe down below. That way you're notified every time we post a brand new video. <laughs> we are posting videos on Sundays, on Tuesdays, and on Thursdays. Guys, we love you. Thank you so much for being here with us. Until next time, see you on our next video.